Hello, my name is Peter Amstutz and I am Principal Software Engineer at Curie Corporation and one of the founders of the Common Workflow Language Project. Today, I'm going to be talking about the importance of data management to be able to reproduce CWL workflows and how the platform I work on, Arvados, addresses these challenges. Recently, the National Institutes of Health in the United States issued a new policy on data management and sharing. Arguing that good data management is the foundation for data sharing and reproducibility of results, in 2023, all NIH grants will be required to include a data management plan. So why do we care about reproducibility? Well, science is an incremental and collaborative endeavor. Having developed some findings, you may realize later you need to study them further or share not only your results, but your entire data analysis process with a collaborator or regulator so that they can understand what you did. If you don't have a complete record of your computational analysis, it is impossible for others who are attempting to reproduce your work to be confident that they are reaching the same result by the same methods. Unfortunately, standard tools and ways of working don't facilitate good data management practices. A scientist might keep their files on their personal computer where nobody else can easily access them. A lab might store files in a centralized location but with opaque organization that makes it impossible for others to find what they're looking for. A researcher may be disincentivized from cleaning up a messy collection of files because of the additional burden of fixing a brittle data analysis script. Or a student may try to rerun an analysis only to get different results, not knowing that one of the programs used in the analysis was upgraded since the original analysis was done. The ability to reproduce results rests on multiple levels, each of which contributes to reproducibility. Using common workflow language with a robust data management strategy helps you build those bottom two layers. A workflow management system is also a data management system. Its purpose is to store the information that tells us how a result was produced. The more detailed, the better. This means precisely identifying the input data sets, workflow steps, software versions, hardware resources, and other details that will enable someone to later recreate a compatible environment that will produce the same results given the same initial inputs. Precise identification of data sets and software versions means not just identifying those resources by a file name or package name, but being able to identify them at a specific point in time through versioning or through an immutable identifier that is derived from the content of the data set, which changes if the content of the data set changes. This means changes to the input data or software environment either can't happen because resources are pinned to uniquely identifiable versions or are easily detectable when comparing two runs. Robust identifiers facilitate reorganizing data after the fact by continuing to point to the same data set even after it is moved or renamed. To facilitate sharing and discovery, data management systems should also make it easy to control sharing with others and to associate metadata with data sets so the data set can be found through search. Hopefully, I've convinced you that when choosing how to run your CWL workflows, you also consider your data management needs in that decision. Now I would like to talk a little bit about the Arvados platform which is our answer to this question of how to combine workflow and data management. Arvados is an open source platform with available commercial support that integrates a data management system called Keep and a compute management system called Crunch, giving you a unified environment to store and organize data and run common workflow language workflows on that data. Arvados is multi-user and multi-platform running on various cloud and high-performance computing environments designed to enable you to build a data lake or data commons for your scientific big data. In Arvados, a data set is a set of files grouped together into a collection. Collections are organized into projects and can be shared with other users. Collections can have searchable metadata and keep a history of changes to the collection. 
Collections can be identified in the system several different ways. By content address, which is based on a hash of the file contents of the collection and changes if the files change. By database UUID, which is stable across reorganization that moves or renames a collection. And human assigned names, which are unique within a given parent project. When a workflow is submitted, Arvados keeps detailed records of each workflow step run by the system. This includes the input and output collections, container images that provide the software environment, hardware resources that were requested, and logs of both the program itself and the program's resource usage on the compute node. Inputs and outputs are stored by content address, which are immutable identifiers of content which means they are robust against both reorganizations and changes to collections. Files stored in Keep can be accessed many different ways. A particularly useful method used to make input files available to workflow steps is mounting Keep as a Linux file system. To show how this works in practice, here are a couple of screenshots of what it looks like to use Arvados using the web workbench. Here, we are looking at the page for a collection. This data set contains 60 files totaling 1.6 terabytes. At the top, we have the name, description, database UUID, and content address. On the lower part of the page, we have files making up the collection. These files can be downloaded or used directly as workflow file inputs with a special keep locator URI in the CWL input object. On another tab, we have metadata associated with the collection. Here is an example of the status page for a run of a whole genome variant calling workflow. Information recorded about the workflow includes the name, description, database UUID, hardware resources, a reference to the Docker image that was used, the command line, the steps making up the workflow, and the collection containing the final output files. On another tab, we can find links to the collections that we use as inputs to this workflow and the collection containing logs of the workflow run. Arvados is used by pharmaceutical and biotech companies as well as universities to store, manage, and process a variety of biomedical big data for genomics, medical imaging, and machine learning. Arvados enables researchers to analyze and share data while maintaining security and control keep a record of analysis performed, and attach metadata to data sets to answer questions such as when, where, why, and how a data set was collected. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at arvados.org. Follow the documentation link on the front page to get to the Arvados documentation, which includes our user guide, and if you think you would like to set up Arvados for yourself, our installation guide. Arvados is open source, and we welcome and encourage community users. Follow the community link on arvados.org to get information about the Arvados discussion forum, chat, video calls, and other community events. Curie has also set up a demo instance at playground.arvados.org where you can get a feel for what it is like to use Arvados as a regular user, including working with data and running CWL workflows. Finally, if you are interested in professional support and development services, including training on using common workflow language with Arvados, please contact us at info at curie.com for more information. Thank you for listening, and I will now take your questions.